In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a CSV into Google Sheets file import. You're going to want to have your CSV downloaded already. You can actually find a CSV file on your Google Drive. If you already have it on your Google Drive, it'll appear here. Or if someone has shared it with you via Google Drive, it'll appear here. If you are uploading from your own drive, click upload, which is the fourth item on this list. You can click and drag the file here or browse for it. If you click and drag the file, it will highlight the entire screen as blue here. We can drop it in. Once it loads, it's going to ask you how to load it. This is very important. There are a few different options and they can have very drastically different results based on which one you select. So you're going to select your import location. You can create a new spreadsheet, which if you are using a Google Sheet right now and you want to import into the Google Sheet you're using right now, this is not the one to do. This will create a brand new spreadsheet file. Insert new sheet will create a new tab in the Google Sheet file you have right now. If you're looking to replace a spreadsheet you currently have, this is the third one is where you do it. Replace current Current sheet means that any data you have on your current tab will be now this import. If you already have data and you want to append or add more data from a CSV, choose append to current sheet. If you've already selected the specific cell that you want to replace the data in, then this last option, replace data at selected cell. It's going to be the way you go. In my case right now, I'm importing a CSV that I want as an extra tab. So I'm going to click insert new sheet. I can allow it to detect the separator automatically, or if you already know your file's separator, is it tab, comma, or custom, choose it here. Custom, you can enter your custom separator here. For me, I'm going to detect automatically. Also, you can convert text to numbers, dates, and formulas if you wish. You can also uncheck this if you do not want to convert anything. So once you have your option selected, click import data, and it'll import the data. This may take a few moments, depending on the size of your file. 